Okay, so the first formal element that we're going to look at is line. A line is the path left by a moving point. So a line can take many forms. It can be a skinny light line. There we go, I've just done a lighter one. It can be a skinny dark line by adding more pressure. It can be, depending on how you use the material, a thick, chunky line. We can change material and we can get different types of line, <clears throat> different styles. So I'm just using a biro here. So I can press lightly and, and play around with line weight. And there I've got a really light one. I can press harder and it'll become thicker and darker. And I'm just going to have no, another go with another pen. It might be a line that goes from being light to dark. So that would be a gradient in a line. See if I can do that a little bit better. There we go. Um, we can we can use anything to create a line. We can use paint, a paintbrush, um, a felt tip. We can use oil pastels, chalk pastels, um, <clears throat> ink. Now a line doesn't always have to be straight either. A line can take many different forms. For example, I might have a swirly line. I might have um, a dashed line. I might have a zigzag line. Have a little experiment with the materials that you've got on your table and see how many different types of line you can invent.